Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric. Today I am going to review Shapes of Grey for the Wii U. Of course the name of the game might be a pun on Shapes of Grey because you actually have to face 50 different levels of Shapes of Grey. So it's 50 Shapes of Grey? I mean... I guess it's a cute little knock, but this game is quite an interesting little indie game that's on the Wii U. It is perhaps one of the most unique games I've yet to play ever. If I were to describe it, I would say it's like Asteroids, but with a sword. You control a small gray shape that has to take on 50 levels of shapes of gray. These shapes are all different varieties of size and shapes, and they even have some weak points, so it's up to you to find out how to take these down. But there's a catch to the levels. Now, there's different strategies that you can use to eliminate these enemies off the screen. You can even use some of them to damage other shapes by aiming them to fly after your attack. Sometimes you're faced with just one enemy, and at other times you have to take down a whole squad. Squad! Put them in the coffin! Don't get too comfortable though. You're timed with the timer on the left side of the screen that reminds me a lot of the WarioWare games. Your shape has three hearts on its life meter as well. However, the real challenge is, those three hearts stay with you until you die. And there's no checkpoints until every 15 levels. Every 15 levels for a checkpoint seems a little bit tedious. I mean, I made it to a boss and died and had to go all the way back 15 levels. This repetitiveness is kind of a little bit of a drag. However, the game is not really taxing on you. I mean, some levels you can just go through really quick. You're also able to gain power-ups such as Ninja Stars to use in limited amounts. You control your shape with the left analog stick and rotate it with the right. The top shoulder buttons or rear trigger buttons use your attack. So it's really responsive and the gamepad is a perfect controller for it. And it just has that classic arcade vibe when you're controlling your shape. It's very, very good. The graphics in this game are very retro and absolutely great, but I found it somewhat relaxing. And the boss battles every so often are actually pretty challenging. So, Shapes of Grey on the Wii U is a pretty minimal, simplistic, retro style game that is definitely one to check out. Now, if you're looking for a story or some cutscenes or an elaborate game, then you might not really like Shapes of Grey, but if you're looking for a quick pickup arcade type style game that is reminiscent of Asteroids with a little bit of a mini game twist from WarioWare, Shapes of Grey is definitely one to check out. It's not too expensive in the eShop and I believe it is actually a quality title for what it is. And you might have fun. It surprised me. I had no expectations of it. And well guys, that is it for today. This has been Shapes of Grey. Thank you a lot for seeing us and peace out.